Krasnodar is number one. We're higher in the league than Kuban. League position means nothing. We have the history. Black and green. Yellow and green are Kuban's colours, the best. Fans will generally support their clubs through thick and thin, but nothing stirs the blood more than a derby fixture. The city of Krasnodar has one, a local matchup between FK Krasnodar and FC Kuban. Located in southern Russia on the edge of the Caucasus Mountains, Krasnodar is a beautiful, if unremarkable, place. It's not even especially large, with a population of around three quarters of a million. But the city is home to the only derby in the Russian top flight outside Moscow. Alexander Martinovich is FK Krasnodar's captain. Krasnodar is a strong football city, and thanks to our owner, Sergei Nikolaevich Galitsky, we now have a second team. It's a unique situation. This is the only provincial city with two teams playing in the Premier League. It's great for all true football fans. Because Russian football shouldn't just be about what happens in Moscow. There are other cities too. FK Krasnodar are the newcomers. The Bulls were only founded in 2008 and started out in the regional third tier, winning promotions straight away. Two years later, following the liquidation of Saturn Moscow, Krasnodar were invited to replace them in the top flight, despite only finishing fifth in their league. Managed by Oleg Kononov, the squad is a mix of locals and journeyman internationals, but they recently opened a youth academy to capitalize on the sport's popularity in the city. It's very important for the club to be taking part in the Premier League, because it's very young and ambitious. We don't have any big-name players to help us stay at this level, and we've just started our academy. It's a great facility for both players and coaches, and something very new in Krasnodar. Hopefully it's somewhere that will benefit us in the years to come. FC Kuban, meanwhile, is one of Russia's oldest clubs. Their history goes back to 1928, when they were known as Dinamo Krasnodar, and they spent most of the Soviet era in the second tier. But since the fall of the USSR, Kuban have yo-yoed between the top two divisions, winning promotion most recently in 2010. Last season, a respectable fifth-place finish saw them qualify for Europe for the very first time. It's been harder to replicate that success this time around, and they recently sacked head coach Doronel Montiano. He was replaced by Viktor Goncharenko, who led Bate Borisov to five Belarusian titles in six years. This is a very interesting project. The quality of the players here is very high, and I think the club can really grow because of them. I'd already been working with a leading club for many years, but at some point, every coach needs a new challenge. Kuban's history and success has meant the club's been able to attract some big-name players, the latest star signing, French international striker Gibral Cissé. I wanted to come here because it offered the chance to play at a better level than I did last season. I was in Qatar for the second part of the last season and I wanted to return to playing at a higher standard. It's good for me to have the chance to play for Kuban and compete in the Europa League. But come match day, big name signings and club histories mean very little. All that matters is the result and the bragging rights that go with it. It's been that way ever since the first top flight derby between the clubs took place in 2011. That time the Bulls won by the only goal. Every match is becoming more intense. They're becoming more passionate and more competitive. I think that in time it could become just like a real Moscow derby. We all understand that the match against Krasnodar is the derby and that the result can affect the mood of the team and the city. A lot depends on the result. But just as with any game, it's important to win in order to improve our league position. The big match takes place at the Kuban Stadium on the outskirts of the city. The two teams share the venue, which puts paid to any real idea of home support. Kuban count as visitors this time, but their fans far outnumber those of Krasnodar. In a first half of few clear opportunities, perhaps the best chance fell to Kuban's Ibrahima Balde. 
Derbies anywhere are passionate affairs and this was no different. A total of eight players ended up seeing yellow. A Georgi Buka strike midway through the second half gave Kuban the lead. Which they doubled in a frantic final five minutes through Evelyn Popov. Right at the death, Gerard Gohor hit a consolation for Krasnodar, but the day belonged to Kuban. The result may not have changed much between the two in the standings, but it does allow Kuban's fans to lay claim to being the number one team in town. Until the return fixture, later in the season, that is. Kuban is yellow and green, the best colours in the world. Kuban is the best team in Krasnodar.